from the position of man and woman desiring to have a better understanding of each other, I think that one thing can be noted or should be noted or looked at in a way. And it's that, you know, men or men have a, a more dominant mental capacity, I would say. Just for the lack of a better way of maybe explaining it. But men has a, a more dominant mental piece or component. Women have a more dominant emotional component. Both being the distinctive strength of each other or distinctive, you know, the strength. It is a dis distinctive strength for her, her emotional peace, his mental being a distinctive strength for him. Not making one better than the other or less than the other. Or, you know, neither is, you know, a negative or necessarily a plus, but in a sense it's distinctively their strength, right? while both having an emotional component and both having a mental component just he having a more dominant mental component and she having a more dominant emotional component both serving a significant purpose and in my thoughts i was thinking that his mental peace would be more like the piece of him that builds as well as her her mental piece is where she builds from this is like this is the piece that builds like let's say use the similar to like of a structure like of a building of a home even right this is the building piece. This is like that architectural piece. This is the piece that puts the mat together. The emotional component is the piece that begins to add the colors to it. It is the piece that is designed, let's say for a house, this is the creative piece this is the like artistic structure of it that sells the house that makes the house you know when a man or woman come look at a home this is the piece that makes them like wanted like oh this is a beautiful place this is that emotional piece this is that component that brings or gives or breathes life into something you know, have you ever heard of the thing or the saying that a house isn't a home? Well, it's kind of like that. It's like a person being on a life support system. <laughs> it's crazy. It's what I just thought of just now. But a person being on a life support system, even though the shell is being or given or being kept alive by this machine, the life may not necessarily be in it anymore it is physically alive and let's just say like that's the mental piece something can physically be living because of that mental piece but be not living because it lacks the spiritual piece the emotional piece the piece of it that gives it life to sum it all up I believe that that component of a woman that significant piece is similar to like the soul of an individual it is a piece that has an expression or has a language or has a significance that can't be really described in totality it is very infinite. It gives a lot of life. It is a piece of her that has to be totally embraced, but mastered, balanced in a sense. Likewise for him, his mental piece is a piece that has to be mastered and balanced.
made beautiful. You know. Anyway, that's just what I was just thinking about. I wanted to share it with y'all. Peace.